Hello guys, welcome back to the VDC space. Today we're gonna be modeling a concrete column formwork in Revit. Before I get started, I would like to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you already subscribed, you need to hit that notification button because I upload BIM modeling tutorials three times every week. I cover different topics as you can see on my playlist. So without further ado, let's start with our project. So I just open up a new construction template, then we're gonna go to file and say new and then family. So we're gonna use the metric generic model for this. So essentially we're gonna establish our dimensions and then we're gonna apply our parameter. So what will happen is we're gonna create different types based on their parameters. So let's just go with the reference plane and then we're gonna place uh, one on each side so we're gonna offset it by 300 on each side perfect now you're gonna go to the front elevation so on the front elevation you're gonna go to a reference plane again and then you're gonna place another reference plane on top and then we're gonna offset it by 3,000 millimeters. So you can just extend these. And we can just apply our dimensions and then our parameter. So obviously this one we're gonna make it in height. So we're gonna type in height. Then we're gonna say okay, and then we're gonna lock it. Go back to the reference level. We're going to apply the dimensions on this one, and also this one, and then we're going to place the other two, make it equal, place this side, and then make it equal. So this one, we're going to name it um, length, and then we're going to say OK, and then lock it, and then this one, we're going to name it width, then we're gonna say okay and then lock it perfect now it's time to model our geometry so for that you're gonna go to create extrusion select your rectangle and then you're gonna place it on the boundaries like this and then set your offset to 10 millimeters and then you're gonna place it on the outside like this so this is basically our particle board and you're gonna apply the material to this so you're gonna type in timber after you type in timber, you're gonna scroll down until you find particle board, load it in, apply, and then okay. Finish edit mode, go to the front elevation, drag your extrusion up, and then you're gonna lock it against this reference plane so that you can control its height. So if you open up the 3D view, this is basically how it looks. So I'm gonna set this to realistic. Now, if you go back to the reference level, it's time to model our uh, beams or our um, columns so which are basically made up of timber so you're going to go to create and say extrusion and then from this insertion point you're going to take it to the right by let's make it 30 millimeters and then 10 and then 20 go upwards by 40 and then 20 again and then 10 and then take it to the right like this so let's just measure this point. So it's 10, I think that's fine. We're gonna select this, these lines, mirror peg axis, mirror them towards the other side. Let's just remove these and then extend. I mean extend. And then you're gonna say finish edit mode, go to the front elevation, drag your beam upwards, and then you're gonna lock it against this reference uh, plane. Go to the reference level and then select it and then you're gonna say array and then you're gonna array it to the right so you're gonna array it from this point towards this point and then i think you're gonna do let's just make four of them and then you're gonna select the three of these mirror pick axis mirror them towards the other side you're gonna select all of these go to filter check none model groups okay i'm gonna ungroup them and then i'm gonna select the rotate center of rotation i'm gonna place it and then i'm gonna place it on this point 
and then I'm gonna mirror them make sure you select the copy option and then I'm gonna mirror them towards this point and obviously I'm just gonna adjust them and then place them right side like this and then mirror pick axis I'm gonna do the same thing for these ones pick axis and then they're gonna be mirrored towards the other side go to the 3d view and then I'm gonna have to select all of these Illusions. And then I'm gonna go to material and then I'm gonna type in timber so if I scroll down I'm gonna go with timber C16 and say apply actually let's go with timber I think C16 is fine, so I'm going to say OK, and this is basically how it looks. Now, obviously, we want the, the amount of volume inside, so in order for us to do that, uh, we're going to have to calculate our volume, so we're going to go to family types, and then generate another new parameter, and then we're going to name it volume. So you can say concrete. volume and then we're gonna set it I think it's fine at common so for the type of parameter you're gonna set it to volume and then you're gonna group it under so I'm just gonna group it under dimensions I think it's fine and then okay and obviously the formula I'm gonna set it to length multiply by width multiply by height make sure the parameters that you mentioned on your formula match the ones that you have generated on, on your workspace so you're gonna say okay apply and then as you can see the volume is generated and then you're gonna say okay so this is basically what we have now obviously you want to make it parametric in order for you to change uh, the dimensions so for instance if you set this to 800 millimeter it's gonna change but as you can see these beams don't move along so what we're going to do is we're gonna set this to we're gonna create create type parameters different types of them so you're gonna say go to family types I'm gonna say new type and then so we're gonna create three type uh, three types of them so type one is gonna be 600 by 600 column form work and then I'm gonna say okay and then um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna create a visibility parameter so I'm gonna say new and then I'm gonna say so I'm gonna name this one type one type one discipline is fine as common type of parameter I'm gonna set it to yes or no I'm gonna group it under visibility and then I'm gonna say okay and then I'm gonna say apply and then okay so I'm gonna select all of these filter so I'm just gonna select my geometry and then I'm gonna scroll to my left under graphics under visible I'm gonna press on this associate family parameter and then I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna assign this geometry to type 1 and say okay so I'm gonna create, create another one so we're gonna create two types so I'm just gonna go to family types again new type and then this one is type 2 so this one I'm gonna make it 800 by 800 and then I'm gonna say okay create a visibility parameter so I'm gonna name it type dash 2 type of parameter I'm gonna say yes or no group it under uh, I'm gonna group it dimensions where is dimensions there it is and then I'm gonna say okay actually no I'm gonna say edit so I'm gonna group it under visibility actually and then I'm gonna say okay so while we are at type 2 I'm gonna uncheck this type 1 and then I'm gonna go to type 1 and then uncheck this type 2 so let's go back to type 2 and say apply and then okay 
Now, as you can see, this is grayed out because it belongs to type 1. Now, we're going to model our geometry for type 2. So, I'm just going to trace over everything, except we're going to increase we're going to increase uh, its dimensions, the dimensions. So let's just select this, go to scale. So I'm going to select from this point towards this, towards uh, this point. And then I'm going to make it the interior. I'm just going to make it, uh, I'm going to select this one. And then I'm going to move it to the right by, so from 300 to, 800 so it's gonna be 400 so I'm gonna add another 100 mils this side and then select this one and then I'm gonna move it from the inside by so the interior width is gonna be perfect and then we're gonna do the same thing for this one we're gonna move it by 100 mils up and then this one we're gonna move it by 100 mils uh, downwards perfect now you're gonna say finish edit mode and then you're gonna go to the front elevation you're gonna drag it upwards and then you're gonna lock it against the top reference plane go to go back to reference level and then you're gonna generate these beams for type 2 so I'm just gonna say uh, lines and then I'm just gonna pick everything So I'm going to select this and I'm just going to copy towards this point, this point, this point, this point, this point. Select all of them and then move them beyond the parameter of our type 2. Select all of these meta pick axis. They're going to be copied towards the other side. And obviously I'm going to have to uh, extend, it, extend it. So I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to it towards this side select this one and then I'm gonna move it towards this side and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one mirror it towards this side select this one and then go and mirror towards the other side so pick lines again this side I'm going to select it and then I'm going to move it towards this point and then I'm just going to copy from this point to this point this point this point and then this one I'm just going to mirror it towards the other side select this one and then mirror it towards the other side and this is basically what we have. So I'm gonna select these ones. And then mirror pick axis. And then I'm gonna mirror it towards the other side. So um, this is basically for 800 by 800. I'm just gonna say finish edit mode, go to the 3D view and uh, go to the front elevation. And then I'm gonna drag it upwards and then I'm going to lock it against the top reference plane and this is basically what we have. So I'm going to select type 2 and then under graphics visible I'm going to associate it to type 2 parameters and say OK. Perfect. Now I'm going to load this into our project. So I'm going to place it like this and then open up the 3D view. So if I select this and then go to edit type and then set this to type one, so only type one supposed to is supposed to be appearing. So let me just go back to edit family, and then I'm gonna associate this one to type two also, the particle board for for type two, load it in, override existing version, perfect. So this is what we have now. So if I set this to realistic, so this is the formwork for type 1. If I select it, or to make things easier, I'm just going to make our visibility parameters instant instant parameters so that we can see them. Um, let's go to edit, set it to instance, apply, OK. 
loading to project over the existing version and its parameter. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to set it to type 2. And then as you can see, type 2, it's, it changes its uh, dimensions. Obviously, you forgot to change the material of our columns, but I think that's fine. So if you select it and then set it to type 1, and then it's going to change its uh, parameters. And then if you set it to type 2, it's going to change its parameters. And subsequently, it's going to change its volume. So back to type 1, the volume uh, reduces. So that's it. Uh, today, uh, you know how to model a concrete column formwork. You saw how visibility parameters work. You saw how type parameters work. You saw how parameter association work. You saw how, how instance parameters work. So I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. I certainly enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on uh, the VDC space. Peace.